We are at the trailhead. Good morning, guys. How is everybody this morning? Not as good as us. So it's uh, it's not as cold as we thought it'd be. It's about 57 degrees, so very comfortable. Probably be shedding our, uh, our long sleeve shirts here in a few minutes. Getting ready to hit the trailhead. Got all of our gear, feeling good. And uh, looking forward to an awesome week on the trail. A little nervous. A little, yeah, it's all right. Considering the first uh, leaving the trailhead here is all uphill. <laughs> So it's yeah. either going to be uphill or downhill most of the next four days. Yeah. So it's good stuff. See you later. All right. See ya. All right. So we are about a quarter mile in and it's been uphill like this the whole way. This is actually pretty refined compared to the stuff we just got off of. I've already met my floor goal for the day. <laughs> okay. We just came up uh, Wolf Pit. <laughs> oh, we we're about, about a mile long, but 800 feet in elevation climb. I'm already at like nine. Floor steps. It took us uh, 59 minutes, hour. just about an hour to go a mile. Really yeah. rocky, really steep, but awesome. So this would be back up. Uh, short we're off. We're going up short off. But we changed we're... our plans and we're going to go down mountain to sea. Hopefully that is uh, a little bit more downhill. It looks like. All right, we are going down mountain to sea trail. It's about 1.2 miles. Just about straight down. Almost, yeah, not straight down, but holy <laughs> cow. It is really steep. So I'm here to tell you, going down is more difficult than going up. But, uh, it just doesn't stop. Mountain to Sea Trail, um, about 2.6 miles in. Got the Linville River off to our right. We're looking for a place to cross. Talked to a few people that hit made the uh, crossing this morning. They said it's uh, like mid thigh deep, but cold. So we're gonna have to. And it's moving pretty fast. They said it's slippery pretty, too. So slippery and swift. Oh my gosh, this is where we have to cross. See that trail marker? That's, well, no, I was, yeah, looking at that one, but the one here, it says go straight across there, and there's the other one over there. Oh, I'm scared. It's gonna be cold. So, yeah, we're preparing for the river crossing. Uh, I got my Crocs on. Amy's got her Crocs on. So, in, in our pack, there's basically a big bag. Super tough, though. It's really hard to poke your hole through it, your fingers through it. And uh, that's your pack liner, so the deal is you should put everything in your pack and you got these twist ties, so you'll tie that all up. So in the event you happen to go in the water, really anything on the outside of your pack, you can help me wet. if I go in the water. Right, but with that pack liner, all your clothes, everything else stays nice and dry. So that's the plan, right Ames? That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know how it goes. Amy is a bit nervous about this whole endeavor. Oh. It's going to be great. It's going to be glorious. Glorious day, right? Glorious day. Glorious. All right, guys, see ya. All right, we, we made, made it. it over. We didn't fall in. Nope. Not too bad. A little wet. I uh, just got a little bit of my pants wet, but... It was cold, though. It was cold, but... Cold and slippery. I'm very happy we didn't fall in, so... Yep. All right, guys, so we crossed the river, had a good lunch. Based on the map, it looked like maybe this is an easier part of the course or the trail. It's straight up for about 1.8 miles. Can't really see it, it's more of the perspective, but it's probably a 20 degree pitch ish, maybe, maybe a little more than that. We stop out every 20 feet <laughs> just to catch our breath. It's, uh, it's a butt kicker. Yes. So. We thought it was going to be easy, but we were wrong. All right, shows you that we can't read maps. We just had to share that with you. All right, goodbye. hundreds and hundreds of bees 
swimming on the ground. Holy crap, hold on. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of bees swarming on the ground. Must be somebody dropped something they think is delicious. That's super cool. You can hear them. Yeah. Thank God for honeybees. Okay, so Joel's got to get water. He just found out that his uh, pack in the back is empty. So that's the water source. It's actually quite nice. That was super quick to fill that up, huh? Dry the outside of the bag a little bit so then the water. The okay, bad water doesn't there. get in the good water. And then uh, use that filter and squeeze it right in there. All right, well, this is an obstacle we're gonna have to go around, over, through, something. Where the games? Tired? Exhausted. Great trail though, right? Yes, that's the hardest 4.89 miles we've ever done. <laughs> it literally has been uphill or downhill, with the exception of the river crossing, everything else has been yeah. up or down. Problem so. is, is we've got another three to go, and that's the un, un, Maintain, maintain trail yeah. so we're not sure how that's going to be so right. wish us luck see you on either side <laughs> hey everybody so we uh we made it from the mst to a trail called lead mine um mst was a little bit different than it showed on the map but we ended up finding it so this is an unmarked trail, actually unmarked and unmaintained trail. It goes for what, 1.3? 1.3 miles. So it's unmaintained, unmarked. But look, this is where we're going. I don't it's know where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tunnel of stuff, so we're just gonna... Hope go. that our maps keep us on the right track. Yeah, wish us luck. This is where they say, why they say, the trail is not maintained. Yes, the trail is not maintained. So here's some down trees on the trail, which you can't tell is off to Amy's right, my left. It really drops off. Yeah. Pretty steep, so. You really have to watch your footing. Ah, these poles are getting in my way. Slow going right now. The pack makes it heavy going over these things. Yeah. Yay, Amy. <laughs> Good job. All right, so it just got worse. I mentioned that the trail was kind of blocked and Amy went over some stuff, but now here's the trail and that's the tree that's fallen on the trail. So I think our plan is at this point, I don't think we can get through that, especially with our packs on. So I think we're gonna try to go up and around. It looks like maybe some people have done that before. Try to go up and around that obstacle, see yeah, if we can make it through. On the other side. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's definitely not a maintained trail, but you know what it is? Glorious day. It's a glorious day. Wish us luck. Okay. Linville Gorge is a gift that keeps giving. So, oh, I'm trying to fall down myself. So, here. This is. Am I down? <laughs> you're good. <laughs> yeah. This is actually the trail that we're walking on. It is Ow. really tough stuff. Especially with 40 to 50 pounds on your back. Oh, come on in. You are amazing. <laughs> you can do it. I'm you can do it. Go. Everybody's rooting for you. Yeah. Come on, everybody, yell, go, Amy. <laughs> go, Amy, you can do it. <laughs> and then she needs your help. It's top heavy with your backpack. Oh my God. I did. Good stuff. Good job, Amy. Thanks. All right, look at the tree goes all the way down. So, and then there's the next tree on our trail, right down there. So we'll see you in about 30 seconds. All right. So on lead mine, there is really no such thing as a straight trail. Everywhere you look, something you have to go around and up. It'd be real easy if that tree wasn't there. You just walk along the trail. Mother Nature has different ideas. That tree came down. It's just high enough where you can't go over it or under it. And so you have you, 40 pounds on your back. Yeah. It's 
pulls you backwards. <laughs> At this point, we're uh, about five and a half hours into the day. We've only gone about six miles. Six miles I just hit. Yep, so we're averaging a little more than a mile an hour. <laughs> it's been a slow go. Yeah, so all the way down, around that tree, and then back up again. Okay, you ready? Ready. Okay. Okay, so we're here at the first camp of the night. If you look around, you'll notice that my lovely bride is not here yet. We actually passed this site and uh, we're trying to go to a site a little farther down. We got there and it was full of people. So, not a lot of people out here, but I didn't want to risk someone getting this site. And I was feeling a little bit stronger than Amy. So I booked it back here, made sure I got back here in time, grabbed this site. So she should be coming along in a minute or two. But holy cow, long day hiking. And uh, the site's beautiful, as you can see, there's an awesome fire pit right there. Lots of trees to hang from in the hammocks. So, and great sound of the river right behind us. So, good stuff, and uh, talk to you guys later. Okay, here comes Amy. Only a couple more trees to go over. And then, uh, we're gonna call it night in terms of climbing over trees and going up and down hills. It has been unforgiving to say the least. 7.33. 7.33 of uh, what's considered technically difficult course, kind of like a ski slope. Black diamond is difficult. Well, this is uh, Have you seen technically those? a black course. Have you seen the uh, campsite? We did. We gave a quick little tour yeah. it this way also. Nice. It's a beautiful place. So get a fire going, get our hammock sung, have some food, kick back for the night. Our hammocks are all set up. There's Joel's. He's got it open on the other side a little bit more. And mine is right here. I've got mine open on this side so you can see it. And uh, we are all set for the night. All right. Texas State Fair chili. It's been in a cooking cozy for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Boiling water. Don't forget, you got to add these things. Oh, looks delicious. We got some Texas peas. Stir it up. And and some cheese. About 7.20 after a really long day, so Tortillas. we are starving. Uh, oh, oh, you forgot. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't put the bag in. Oh. All right, so we're going to eat that and just enjoying our fire. I don't know if you can hear the river down there, but it's going to be a good night. Alrighty, it is uh, time for bed. We are in our hammocks, all nice and cozy, with our bug nets over us, listening to the river sounds. It'll hopefully will be a wonderful night's sleep. So, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Good night.